All righty, so this is going to be a bit of a different video today. I'm getting ultra serious and I'm going to ask for your help. So there's going to be a link down below in the comment section and the description of this video. And I'm going to kindly ask that you please share this video, like this video, comment on this video, and then also share the petition down below. It's an important petition and I'm going to explain in this video exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing. So for a lot of you, um, you may not have even noticed that Canada's Wonderland hasn't opened for its regular season this year. Neither has Calypso, Wet n Wild, Marineland, but there are other places that are open. And congratulations! By the way, we were the ones that posted this original video of the overcrowding at Niagara Falls. And yes, we are were and still are extremely upset with the company that runs that place and the mayor of Niagara Falls. But we do want places like this open. Our goal isn't to shut down places like this. Our goal is to have sh safe operations and bring attention to a company that maybe needs to change its practices. If you have an attraction like this open, and there's been zero change or action since this video. In fact, if you go on any given Saturday, it is horrendous there still. Nothing has changed. The people with the yellow shirts that they promised are working the rides. They're not walking about. They have one guy in a yellow shirt that mans the Tim Hortons washroom. That's about it. No one's handing out masks. Nothing's changed. But again, back to the video. I just wanted to bring a little attention to that. If this place can open, why can't Wonderland? And a lot of you, when I say or I bring up Canada's Wonderland opening, think immediately to Wonderland's regular season and go, absolutely not. That's so much germs. That's so many touch points. How? No, that's not what Wonderland is going to do if they open. If Wonderland opens, they're going to be limiting it to about 10 to 15,000 people in that very massive plot of land. There are stickers already laid down on all the queue lines and around the park. They have directional flows inside the park. They have an app that will track guest flow and alert security to break up overcrowding. On top of that, they have sanitation on the rides and trains and all touch points. Someone will be walking through the queue, cleaning the queue lines. And it's just so much more. They've spaced out all the seating. They have a reservation system so people arrive at different times. They're going to check your temperature upon getting there. No one's checking your temperature at Niagara Falls. No one's checking your temperature before you walk through a haunted house at Niagara Falls or get into a cabin on that Ferris wheel. No, nothing's going on there except them giving you gloves. And now masks are required after our video. Masks were not required in Niagara Falls before our video, but because of our video, they were are required now. But before then, it was open, no masks required, just gloves, that's all. You could go in the haunted house with just gloves on. And there were scare actors in there. But a place like Marineland, Canada's Wonderland, Calypso, and Wet n Wild, and Santa's Village, they can't open. Not even with strict health guidelines, stricter than places that are open. If you go to the High Ropes course in Niagara Falls, hardly any sanitation practices going on. Social distancing isn't taking place up there. Bottlenecks of people from different families meeting at poles as they bottleneck up together. But again, Canada's Wonderland can't open. So, why the petition? The petition is to showcase why these places, if they can open, should receive government funding. And a lot of you might question me on this. I got this in my DMs. Well, why should a billion dollar company like Cedar Fair that owns Canada's Wonderland receive um, government funding for not opening? Well, they're a billion dollar company when all their parks are operational and producing growth in attendance. They're not a billion dollar company anymore right now. They're not. It, it doesn't work that way. In fact, uh, they're, like, they're probably just surviving. And when you're a place like Canada's Wonderland and you employ people, and by the way, they were supposed to be a part of stage three and then something suddenly changed and they were told they were a part of stage three, they got the park ready. They planted all of their landscaping. They brought in all their maintenance workers. They trained all their ride ops. And now suddenly all the rides are just sitting there. The landscaping is beautifully done. They got all the plexiglass installed. They ordered all the PPE. They got in all their food supplies. And now it's just all sitting there. They spent all that money. And for those of you that don't know business, they spent a fortune getting ready to open this year. And now they've been basically left on red 
uh, for what I understand. No one's communicating to Wonderland anything. They're, they've just been left in the dark. Yet a place like, look, Niagara Falls, it's open. You can go play arcade games, high touch points beyond belief. Go into an enclosed haunted house, high touch points, and people screaming and all that. You can ride the Franken coaster on top of the thing. Like, zero social distancing on that train, unlike Wonderland, which would space the rows. So one row would be filled, then there would be an empty row. And then another... They're not doing that on Frankencoaster. It makes zero sense, is my argument. So my petition is to draw awareness to the fact that Wonderland employs anywhere from 4,000 to 5,000 employees through the season, and then you got Winterfest. You have people that actually dedicate their lives to getting dressed up and playing a character that rely on that as a job. Four to 5,000 people on Wonder at, working at Wonderland just alone, suddenly not employed, and the government is telling them, there's jobs out there. No, there isn't jobs out there right now. There really isn't. If you could see my DMs, people are messaging me, like trying to figure out where to get a job. I've been trying to help, but there's just been an overwhelming amount of people looking for jobs. There's not jobs out there. Yeah, there's a few, but you're talking about thousands of people who suddenly don't have work. And on top of that, you're talking about a company that literally put land, didn't give it to the city, but they sold land because the city wanted it to build a hotel. Uh, not a hotel, a hospital. Wonderland also gave land for a transit hub. A lot of you don't know about that, but it's coming. There's a transit hub being built in the employee parking lot at Canada's Wonderland. Wonderland has always been there working with the government, employing people. One of the largest employers in Ontario, it literally provides an economic boost to all the businesses around in hotels. It makes zero sense. La Ronde in Montreal has been open through this pandemic over the last month or two, and there's been no outbreaks reported out of that amusement park. It's pretty much the same in the United States as well. There was one park that had a few employees get it, and the employees uh, quarantined, and then everyone else was tested, and it didn't spread, and they're still operating, and everything's been dandy. It's not as dangerous as the media and some people are painting it out to be. If you're not going to allow these theme parks and water parks to open, and unfortunately it's too late for a lot of these businesses to open, we're in September, there needs to be funding. You can't just expect a place like Canada's Wonderland that probably produces hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in a season to suddenly not produce that amount of money and stay in business. They have massive amounts of bills to pay. You have your property taxes, you have your electricity bill, you have your employee wages that you had to pay to just get the park ready, You the landscaping, all of that. They had new rides that they were investing in, hoping that they would bring in new attendance. And yes, unfortunately, things happen, and it's unfortunate. But again, the government gave money to the Ontario Lottery Association. So if you're going to sit here and point out why does a, a, a company that makes money need money? The Lottery Association got money. The Science Center got money. So what is different? Wonderland, it boosts the economy much more than the Science Center, no matter how you look at it. It's more important for the economy than the Science Center. Marineland's extremely important for the Niagara region. It draws in a lot of tourists. It really doesn't make sense to me. And yeah, there are people, again, that think Wonderland being open, it's going to be too crowded. No, it doesn't operate like that. Look at any theme park that's open right now. Go look at La Ronde. It does not operate like that. They are very strict. It is super safe. Masks are going to be required everywhere, unlike some businesses, Shade Niagara Falls. So I'm going to ask you guys. You need to look at the bigger picture here. This isn't about riding roller coasters. I can happily go a year without riding roller coasters. This is about people's jobs. This is about the economic impact. This is about a country that already has next to no theme parks, unlike America. Theme parks in Canada have had a history of just closing down and disappearing. Not saying that's going to happen, to Canada's Wonderland, but you don't know what's going to happen to Santa's Village. Calypso has already said that they need government funding. Wet n' Wild had a past of struggling, so who knows if that water park's going to struggle as well. So what are we? We're going to be a, 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 a country or a province with no water parks? No theme parks? 
That like our country is already boring. It like I don't care what anyone says compared to the United States. Yeah, our country is doing much better. But we need things to do. We are a very boring country. And I know any millennial or teenager or young adult in here knows exactly what I'm talking about. Especially come winter. It is so boring to be a Canadian. And in summer, it's literally just partying. Beaches. Cottages. You need that theme park. No matter your opinion on Canada's Wonderland. We all know deep down that going to Canada's Wonderland with a group of friends is one of the most fun things that makes up your summer. Just like the c &E. It makes up your summer. So why isn't Canada's Wonderland receiving answers from the government? Why aren't they being allowed to open under any circumstances? Why aren't they receiving funding? Same for Marineland. Same for Calypso. Same for Santa's Village. Same for the Toronto Islands. Imagine an Ontario with no theme parks. That's not an Ontario I want to live in. It's not a country I want to live in. We already have no theme parks. It's boring. That's my two cents. Take into consideration the employment of those four to 5,000 people at that one park, Canada's Wonderland alone, and then add in all these other parks and water parks I'm talking about, the economic impact to the area, the effect on the actual business. Will they go under? What is the answer now? How can a place like Niagara Falls be open under extreme overcrowding and hardly any social distancing whatsoever, yet a place like Canada's Wonderland and Marineland are told, nah, you can't open, but the roller coasters over at Niagara Falls can, just not Wonderland. Yeah, sounds fair to me. Anyways, all I'm asking is please get this message out there. Sign the petition in the description and the comment section down below. Share it, please. I need your help. Get this message out there. We'll be organizing a peaceful gathering. We're not going to call it a protest. Gathering. Because, again, a lot of people think I'm attacking Doug Ford and all that. No, I really appreciate how he's handled everything. I really do. I appreciate how safe our country has. But now, it's not fair. No matter where you sit on this matter, if Niagara Falls Clifton Hill can open, it makes no sense as to why these places can't, and you cannot argue otherwise. You cannot justify why Clifton Hill and Niagara Falls can be open, and Canada's Wonderland cannot. You cannot justify that. I do not care. Thank you so much for listening to my rant. I really hope you take the time, five minutes out of your day, to sign that petition, share it, share this video, comment and like this video as well. Let's get this message out there. You know that I am on the right side of this subject. You know it. Deep down, this is not fair. Thank you so much for taking your time to listen and watch this video. I honestly do mean that. Have a great day and or night, whatever you're watching this video. And yeah, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay uh, connected or follow us on Instagram, Amusement Insiders, uh, for more updates on the gathering and the petition as well. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.